Okay, so by request, by much request, today we're going to be taking a look at the Gerber Strong Arm versus the Cold Steel SRK in SK5 High Carbon. So to break this down and how this test went, let's jump into it. So starting off with batoning, these knives actually performed very similar and you'll notice this trend throughout the entire test that these two knives actually are pretty darn similar as a whole and that's to be pretty well expected the knives both have a general purpose survival and utility uh, function or design that they are based around that is their basic role however i would say that the cold steel given its length of blade being slightly longer and that helping get a little bit better leverage gave the SRK the edge when it came to batoning. Now, the next one was pretty interesting because the Gerber strong arm I thought would perform better when it came to feather sticking because it is a strong uh, feather sticker. It really knows how to make really nice curls. However, the SRK actually did just slightly better and I found that I was rolling wood or rolling little feathers just that little bit much more easier with the cold steel SRK and I think that this had to do ultimately with the fact that the SRK is a saber grind as opposed to the flat grind of the Gerber and you'll notice that there isn't much difference when you look at these two knives on the outside but uh, really that blade geometry, that higher grind, and that saber just helps the SRK just a little bit, just slightly outperform the strong arm. So next we moved over to uh, notching, and notching is one of those things where neither of these knives are particularly good at it. These are not bushcrafting knives, these are definitely survival camp knives, so they're not necessarily the best at creating fine little notches and yeah so neither of these knives did particularly well they both did about average to okay I wouldn't really say that it's passable for bushcrafting but they are by and large both of these knives serviceable when it comes to creating notches so if you had to make some you know figure four deadfall you could do it with either of these knives it's they're serviceable but they're certainly far from the best so lastly, I did a quick ferro rod striking kind of demo to show you what the capabilities of these two blades were, and I know that the SRK can throw sparks very well, but I was genuinely surprised to see that the uh, strong arm outperformed the SRK just by a little bit. Once again, this isn't a leaps and bounds kind of outperformance, but it's noticeable that you could definitely tell that the strong arm was throwing more sparks per strike on or from the ferret rod than the SRK. And I'm not really sure why that was. Uh, maybe the strong arm has a sharper spine, but for whatever reason, the strong arm definitely uh, was a better uh, ferro rod striker than the SRK. Okay, so now my generalized opinion on both of these. Now once again this is my opinion and my perspective from my use on both of these knives. Now once again the performance is very similar. Uh, there really isn't a serious lead on these two knives. It's not like one seriously outperformed the other. They're very similar, almost nigh on identical uh, in performance. Now personally I would still side with the Cold Steel SRK because in my opinion, I find the handle to be more comfortable. I like the blade length, and it's just simply a knife that I'm a little bit more comfortable with. And once again, I am more attracted to the ergonomics of that blade than I am the strong arm. Now, the strong arm is certainly very robust and very tough, but one of the dislikes that I have with it is that it does have a degree of palm swell in the middle, but by and large, the handle is very thin. Uh, in my opinion it's noticeably thinner than the SRK as I showed in the video and or as I rolled in the footage and so for that reason primarily I would choose the SRK over the strong arm but if we're talking blade to blade performance here they're really both very similar blades 
and like I said, both perform equally well. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed that viewer requested uh, comparison of the Cold Steel SRK and the Gerber Strongarm. As always, God bless and I'm out.